In today's tutorial, we are going to look onto how we can find the Laplace transform of the product of a real exponent with some functions. And this formula will guide us in finding these Laplace transforms. If we are asked to find the Laplace transform of the product of an exponent with a function that you can take the Laplace transform of, the new function which is going to be of 10 will be in the form of s minus e. And to find this function of s minus e, you have to take the Laplace transform of this function, then you substitute s with s minus e. So now let us see how we can find the Laplace transform of these three functions. The first one we are asked to find the Laplace transform of the exponential 3t times t to the power of 2. What we are going to do, we are going to find the Laplace transform of t to the power of 2, then we replace s by s minus 3. So therefore, the Laplace transform of t to the power of 2 is the same thing as 2 factorial divided by s to the power of 2 plus 1. And this is equal to 2 factorial is the same thing as 2. And we have s to the power of 3. Now to find this Laplace transform, which is f of s minus a, we are going to replace s with s minus a, and our a is 3 here. So finally, we have 2 divided by s, and s is now s minus our a is 3, raised to the power of 3. So now this is the Laplace transform of this function. Now let us find the second one, which is exponential negative 2t multiplied by sine of 4t. The Laplace transform of exponential negative 2t sine 4t. What we are going to do, we are going to find the Laplace transform of sine 4t. And this will be equal to 4 divided by s squared plus 4 squared, which is the same thing as 4 over s squared plus 16. So this is the Laplace transform of this function. So to obtain f of s minus a, which is the Laplace transform of this product, we are going to replace s with s minus a. And this will be equal to 4 divided by s minus a. And our a here is negative 2. So negative, negative will change this sign to positive. So we have plus 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 16. So therefore, this is the Laplace transform of this function. Now let us look on to the last one, which is the Laplace transform of exponential 4t cos 5t. The Laplace transform of exponential 4t, then cos 5t. First of all, we have to find the Laplace transform of cos 5t. So the Laplace transform of cos 5t now be equal to s over s squared plus that coefficient squared, which is 5 squared. This is equal to s over s squared plus 25. To find the Laplace transform of the whole function, which is s minus a, we are going to replace s with what? s minus this coefficient, which is non-zero scalar. So we have s minus 4 divided by s minus 4 squared plus 25. So this is the Laplace transform of the whole of this function. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.